Hi guys, and welcome to the Ace Tanker for the Churchill Gun Carrier! I finally got the Ace Tanker for this tank. Neil on Travels challenged me to get the Ace Tanker in the tank, and it probably took a lot longer than I was expecting because uh, this tank is absolutely crap. So I am very, very happy to finally get the Ace Tanker in this tank and never have to play it again. So this was a very, very recent stream. Uh, a very, very recent game, I should say. It was played on yesterday's stream, but I needed a quick video to release today because I'm working on a couple of longer videos and they're not going to be ready for today. So I decided, oh, what the hell, I'll just put this one out today. So uh, it was played yesterday on stream. And uh, very, very happy. Uh, my reaction on stream was quite ecstatic at getting the Ace Tanker, so... Basically, what do you need to know about the Churchill Gun Carrier? It's a tank you don't have to play. The only reason you would need to play the Churchill Gun Carrier is if you went down the uh, British Medium line and decided you wanted to do a crossover into the uh, British TD line. But other than that, you can skip this tank completely if you decide to go down the uh, TD and Medium lines. So this tank doesn't need to be played, and I really, really do not recommend the Churchill Gun Carrier. Um, this is a very, very rare good game in the Churchill Gun Carrier. We get a nice shot into the E25, but uh, yeah, what do you need to know about the Churchill Gun Carrier? It's basically a 17-pounder gun in a fixed forward-facing turret on a Churchill chassis. We just bounced on a KV-3 unluckily. But, uh, yeah, it's a Churchill chassis, but you don't have Churchill armor. Um, Churchill gun carrier has so many negatives. Um, it's got a very, very narrow gun arc. It's got a long aim time. It's got no camo rating. It's got no armor. Um, usually when you get spotted in a Churchill gun carrier, you will get killed. So uh, we picked up our first kill on that IS-2. We're up to uh, about 800 damage. So I do fire a few blind shots in this game, and most of my blind shots do go in. But uh, I've said it previously that the Churchill Gun Carrier really, really needs the enemy team to come to you. It needs to be played passively. And uh, that hit something. Not quite sure what it hit, but it did hit something. But uh, because you've got no camera rating and because you can be killed so easily, you really, really need enemy tanks to come to you to have good games in the Churchill gun carrier. But uh, the gun is pretty good. You've got nice gun depression, you've got nice gun elevation. Uh, the gun itself has 214 alpha da or penetration with 250 alpha damage. I don't have a good crew in it, so my reload is currently at uh, just over a eight seconds. But I was really, really happy with this game. Uh, suffice to say, immediately after this game, I sold the tank. But we're going to see problems with the narrow gun arc. I'm adjusting the gun, finally get it on target, take out the chaffee for kill number two. So I know I've been spotted, I need to fall back. But uh, even though it's the Churchill chassis, I've always, always been amazed at how poor the armor is on the gun carrier. Even side scraping, your tracks do not seem to absorb shots like they would in a Churchill. But we're just going to go to work on this KV-3. So I'm on 1100 damage. Enemy armor is damaged. And you can see that the rate of fire is okay. Aim time, although quite long, is okay, I suppose. As long as you're not moving your gun around too much. So we take out the KV-3. I notice an E25 is advancing aggressively. I'm almost reloaded. Oh, he dupes me. I'm at the end of my gun arc. And unfortunately, I shoot and only manage to track him with no damage. But I do have the reload. He's coming straight for me. I've got the gun depression, and I take him out for kill number four. 1,500 recorded damage. Four tanks left on the enemy team. And it's not an exciting game, but then again, the Churchill gun carrier is not an exciting tank. 
And I've been complaining about the armor and I actually managed to bounce a T20. So I'm trying to use my gun depression here. Get my gun down. And uh, see JC takes him out before I get the kill on the T25-2. T20 dies before I can shoot and that's it. Game is over. And I can sell this tank. So there you go, it's the Ace Tanker! Didn't pick up any major medals, I did pick up Bruiser, Fighter and Fire for Effect, but uh, yeah, very very happy to get this game or this tank over and done with. It is sold and I never have to play this tank again. So uh, I finished top on XP with just 1004 XP, but the Churchill Gun Carrier, it's really really difficult to have great games in it. Um, you really really need the enemy team to come to you, you can't hunt them down and it's a very very difficult tank to carry games in but 2k damage I'm very very happy with with four kills I fired 16 hit 12 and penned 11 so some of my blind shots did go in uh, I received one hit and I actually bounced it and that is a very very rare occurrence in the gun carrier I damaged five destroyed four did 322 assistance damage and earned 30,000 credits with a premium account uh, 1506 XP again with a premium account on the times two with a bonus thrown in left me on 3700 and 65. So really, Churchill Gun Carrier, I do not recommend this tank. It's extremely frustrating. It's a terrible tank. I'm finally happy to be done with it and sell it and move on. So I was able to uh, move the crew into some other low-tier British tanks. So there should be some more low-tier British ace tankers coming to you soon. But uh, thankfully, this tank is done. And there you go, Neil on. You challenged me. Challenge was accepted. Challenge is complete. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.